Outside of some comments from the rapper, things have been pretty hush dash hush by end late April. A pretty stunning update surrounding Megan Thee Stallion came down the pipeline. It was reported by NBC News that the rapper's now ex-cameraman, Emilio Garcia, had some scathing allegations. Garcia, who claims to have worked with her from 2019 to 2023, filed a lawsuit against Megan Thee Stallion for creating a hostile, abusive work environment, in addition to harassment. He alleges that he was fat-shamed and treated poorly overall. According to the paperwork, this all allegedly occurred while heading to Ibiza in June 2022. There was also another alleged incident that left Garcia feeling uncomfortable and frozen. While in the back of an SUV, he alleges that Megan and another woman had sex right in front of him. After seeing that Garcia was an alleged witness to that sexual interaction, she allegedly told him, don't ever discuss what you saw. Then, following all of that, he alleges he was booked less and was eventually let go by Rock Nation. In the lawsuit, Garcia is looking for unpaid wages, as well as interest on the unpaid wages, unpaid overtime wages, and other employee benefits at the legal rate. Megan and her team have publicly responded to these allegations, saying that they were outlandish and manipulating. The most recent headlines surrounding this debacle came back in June, so it's been quite a while. But according to the Jasmine brand, that all changed today. According to the outlet, Megan Thee Stallion was looking to get the case moved from Los Angeles to New York City. The California judge presiding over this case granted the MC's wish. Additionally, Garcia declined to dismiss Rock Nation as a defendant. The updates aren't massive, but at least it's something. For now, we don't when things will pick back up. What are your thoughts on this new update from the Megan Thee Stallion's hostile work environment lawsuit? Do you think this is going to be a big deal or not? What do you think the final result of this will be? We would like to hear what you have to say, so leave your thoughts in the comments.